Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. When David and Saul approached on David's return after slaying the Philistine, women came out from each of the cities of Israel to meet King Saul, singing and dancing with tambourines, joyful songs, and sistrums. The women played and sang, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands. 
Saul was very angry and resentful of the song, for he thought, They give David ten thousands, but only thousands to me. All that remains for him is the kingship. And from that day on, Saul was jealous of David. Saul discussed his intention of killing David with his son Jonathan and with all his servants. But Saul's son Jonathan, who was very fond of David, told him, My father Saul is trying to kill you. Therefore, please be on your guard tomorrow morning. Get out of sight and remain in hiding. I, however, will go out and stand beside my father in the countryside where you are and will speak up to him about you. If I learn anything, I will let you know. Jonathan then spoke well of David to his father Saul, saying to him, Let not your majesty sin against his servant David, for he has committed no offense against you, but has helped you very much by his deeds. When he took his life in his hands and slew the Philistine, and the Lord brought about a great victory for all Israel through him, you were glad to see it. Why then should you become guilty of shedding innocent blood by killing David without cause? Saul heeded Jonathan's plea and swore, As the Lord lives, he shall not be killed. So Jonathan summoned David and repeated the whole conversation to him. Jonathan then brought David to Saul, and David served him as before. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In God I trust, I shall not fear. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Have mercy on me, O God, for men trample upon me. All the day they press their attack against me. My adversaries trample upon me all the day. Yes, many fight against me. In God I trust, I shall not fear. My wanderings you have counted. My tears are stored in your flask. Are they not recorded in your book? Then do my enemies turn back when I call upon you. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Now I know that God is with me, in God in whose promise I glory. In God I trust without fear. What can flesh do against me? In God I trust, I shall not fear. I am bound, O God, by vows to you. Your thank offerings I will fulfill. For you have rescued me from death, my feet too from stumbling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. In God I trust, I shall not fear. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus withdrew toward the sea with his disciples. A large number of people followed from Galilee and from Judea. Hearing what he was doing, a large number of people came to him also from Jerusalem, from Idumea, from beyond the Jordan, and from the neighborhood of Tyre and Sidon. 
he told his disciples to have a boat ready for him because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. He had cured many, and as a result, those who had diseases were pressing upon him to touch him. And whenever unclean spirits saw him, they would fall down before him and shout, You are the Son of God. He warned them sternly not to make him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today talk of fame and popularity. In our first reading, David gained instant popularity after defeating the giant Goliath. When he returned to the city, as we heard in our first reading, people applauded him. People praised him, probably because they considered the victory of David as their own victory. Goliath was an enemy not only of David, but of the whole people of Israel. And so when they defeat, when David defeated Goliath, it was a victory for everyone. Everyone praised David for having won victory for the whole nation. Everyone praised David for doing such great thing. Everyone except Saul, the king. Saul did not take very well the popularity and the praises given to David. He was jealous and insecure. Too jealous and too insecure that he plotted to kill David. In our gospel today, we also heard how Jesus gained popularity because of his powerful words and miraculous works. Because of the healings that he performed, many people from different places went to him, almost crushing him. And even evil spirits, unclean spirits, would proclaim who he is. You are the Son of God. But Jesus did not really like to be a celebrity. That is why he asked his disciples to prepare a boat for him so that he could leave and escape the crowd. My dear brothers and sisters, many of us want fame and popularity. Isaya tayan sa pagnanais natin bilang mga tao ang maging kilala, ang purihin, ang kilalanin, at ang maging sikat. Kaya siguro marami sa ating mga kabataan ngayon ang gustong sumali sa mga iba't ibang contest sa telebisyon. Yan ang daan para makilala at sumikat. But we must be aware that there are dangers to fame and popularity. When one becomes popular, one would also expect many enemies. When you are praised, 
you will also be hated. When you are applauded, you will also be criticized. When you are famous, expect that many will also try to destroy you, like what happened to David. Another danger to fame and popularity is that they may enter our heads and they may become the motivation behind the things that we do. We will do things because we want to be acknowledged. We will do things because at the back of our mind, by doing this, I will be praised and I will be popular. Gagawin ko ito para mapansin ako. Gagawin ko ito para kilalanin ako. Gagawin ko ito para purihin ako. Gagawin ko ito para sumikat ako. Yun na lamang ang dahilan sa ating mga ginagawang kabutihan. But for David and for Jesus, that is not the case. They do not want to be famous and popular. All they want was to follow the mission given to them by God. They were not concerned about popularity and fame. They were not after praises. Their primary concern was fidelity to God. And that is very important. Many times when we do good, when we are doing good things, we could not really avoid fame and popularity. But that should not be the primary concern. It is no longer important if we are acknowledged, praised, recognized, and become popular because of the things that we do. What is important is we simply do what we are supposed to do. For what is the meaning of being popular if we fail in our mission? What is the use of becoming famous in the eyes of men if we are displeasing to the eyes of God? Aanhin mo ang kasikatan. Aanhin mo ang katanyagan. Aanhin mo ang papuri ng tao kung hindi ka naman kalugod-lugod sa mata ng Diyos. For in the end, it is, not, it is not really important that we gain the esteem of men. What we, we, we should be concerned about is to remain always pleasing in the eyes of God. Please stand. The Father sends His only Son to heal us. We are confident that He can heal the whole person, body, and soul. So we pray to the Father through His Son. And for every petition, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through its leaders, may take up with courage the burden of constant conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are struck with incurable disease may be strengthened in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never close our hearts to those in need, but consciously involve ourselves in Christ's work of healing and reconciling, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who care for the sick may never get tired of caring and treating them with personal attention and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the healing grace of God may purify those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also remember the people we promise to pray for and the intentions offered in this Mass. God of the living, help us to continue the work of Jesus, to bless and to heal, so that we can make his gospel truly good news to all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness, make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.